Yep. Hi, Dance Magazine readers. Welcome back to Dance Magazine's YouTube channel. My name is Haley Hilton, and this is Dancer Diary, where I'm chronicling my life as a dancer in New York City. Today, we're talking about the fact that I joined the Actors' Equity Association. I am so excited about this. I finally did it. It finally happened. Let's talk about how we got here. If you have been following my column for a while now, you know that about six months ago, we talked about when is the right time to join the union. And that conversation was really interesting. If you wanna dive deeper into that, I recommend looking up that article on Dance Magazine's website and then watching the vlog associated with it on YouTube. There's a lot of really helpful information right there. Um, and at the end of that column, I came to the decision with the support of my agent that I should hold off and wait a little bit longer to join the union. Even though I knew it was something I ultimately wanted to do, I wanted a little bit more time and experience as a non-union performer before joining it. And so after that, I had this really great summer. I called it my summer of callbacks and you know, final callbacks. I had appointments, it was really great. I was able to be seen a lot and I felt really good. Um, that said, a lot of the auditions that I was getting those callbacks for were obviously non-union, which is wonderful, um, but some challenges associated with them is they were auditions that ultimately in my gut I knew might not be right for my stage of life, my health, as much as I was like, oh yeah, I'll do anything, I wanna do anything, especially because it's all such amazing work that I would like be lucky to do. I just knew like when I decided to come back to dance, there were two things that I was really adamant that I couldn't sacrifice and that was my marriage and my health and a lot of the opportunities would be kind of challenging for those things and it was kind of hard to navigate um, my feelings on that so there was that part of things and then in the fall I wanted to go to more ECC's I said that I wouldn't because going to ECC's are really really hard physically and emotionally and financially and it was just a mess but like Wicked and Moulin Rouge were all auditioning within like a week space-ish. And in that week, I went to five ECCs and my husband either woke up at four o'clock in the morning and went and put my name down on a list for me. Truly, he is wonderful. Like I could cry, I'm so grateful for him. Or he went down with me to go put my name on a list late at night. He was so nice and like didn't complain about it, but I felt bad. And then I would go and wait all day and you'd sit in this anxiety of like, am I gonna be seen? Am I gonna be seen? Okay, I think I'm gonna be seen, so I'm gonna get a substitute to come and take my class that I have to teach. And then I wouldn't be seen. For literally four of those five in that week, they didn't see it on union or like something happened that kept me from being seen like one thing oh my gosh it's so embarrassing i went down there wasn't a list up i put my name on the list <laughs> and then i left and i came back the next morning and i walk into pearl studios and realize this audition is at ripley greer and i had started a list at the wrong studio and so in my mind i was like oh that's so embarrassing but it's fine like someone just saw it and probably thought this person's an idiot and threw it away but I was like, I guess I'll just go and see how far out the number is for the Wicked call and see if I could be seen. <laughs> and I get there and everyone is up in a tizzy. Everyone is stressed and frustrated because someone had been so nice, seen my list, felt bad for me, brought my list over to Ripley Greer. So then there were two lists at Ripley Greer that had been started and people were upset and they were like, somebody started this other list and like they were talking negatively about the person who did it how could they and i'm like oh my gosh it's me it's me i panicked i was so stressed and i was like you guys it was me i was the one who did it and there was some irritation from some people but one really nice person was like this happens all the time and like it's gonna be okay but they're gonna take the other list and you probably won't be seen which i was like fair like that makes sense that was my mistake um, but I felt just like sick and now I can laugh about it. But the day I was like, oh my gosh, everybody hates me what I do and after that. And then not being seen for all four because obviously my number was so late. I couldn't be seen. And I literally paid for subs for all five of those days or no, four of those days. Cause one was on a Friday. I paid for subs for all four of those days, despite me not being seen and still coming and teaching those classes. Like I'm just draining money. Oh, it was so frustrating. I was crushed and I was like, okay, time to rethink everything. So I, that was sometime in October. 
I start talking to my friends about it and they're like, listen, Haley, I think it's time for you to join the union. You're the only person who understands the dynamics of your health and your age and your relationship and your home and your other jobs that pay the bills and like just what's doable and what's not for you. And people can give a lot of general advice that can be good advice but there comes a point where you have to just kind of listen to yourself and trust yourself. I thought long and hard on it. I had a lot of discussions and then I was like, okay, I feel really good about joining the union. I was nervous to tell my agent. And so I wrote her an email where I just said, hey, this is what I'm thinking. And this is why I feel this way. Let me know your thoughts. And she got back to me with this very kind email and was like, you know, if your gut is telling you to do this, let's trust your gut. And I was so relieved to hear her say that. We got on a phone call and she was so kind and she was like, you know what Haley, like the industry post COVID is weird and a lot of it is unpredictable. And you know, who knows, maybe this will be really good for you if your gut's telling you to do it. Like I trust you. Uh, we both discussed how, you know, because I've been getting these callbacks, it seems like I do pretty well if I'm in the room and you know, I just need to get in the room more. And she was really nice. And so we decided as a team, this is what we're doing. Um, that was on November 28th and so then I started the journey so let's talk about the timeline because I think that is something that I would have felt like was helpful to know going into this on November 29th I filled out a form and I'll include a video of me doing that at that time what the process was like right here I literally just looked up actorsequity.org and then I clicked on open access because I don't have a, you know I d they don't do the points anymore you can just join whenever you're ready if you have like at least one performance credit, which I do. So I came in and clicked here and then I filled out this questionnaire. I already filled it out, but did all my name, all that information. And let's see, they asked for my name. Oops, they asked for my last name. I already filled this out, so I'm just gonna get this to you. Um, asked if your stage name's different, asked for your email address, your phone number, Last four digits of your social, um, how you're eligible to join. And then they also ask the name of the company and the production that you were in. So I put that in. And then they asked for the date of when you were doing that, like the start date of it. So I did that. Oh, I also asked like, what are your reasons? And there are a bunch of great reasons. A career milestone, people you respect are part of equity, you believe in unions, you believe we all work better as like one unit and like a bunch of questions like that. And I'm like, yep, 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 let's go. So I filled out that form and I got an email back saying our membership department will review your request to join the union and be in touch within seven to 10 business days. And I talked to some other friends who like had a range of experiences for how quickly they got back to them. Just over 10 days later, probably about like the 12 day range, I think actually, I got an email from them like thanking me for my inquiry into joining and then before they could like issue me an application they needed me to send a copy of my employment contract from a job a professional job that i've done before he said if you don't have a copy of your employment contract you can send us a copy of a program and proof of payment or a copy of an employment verification letter from your employer and so I sent them over a program. I explained that, like this job was a long time ago, so I definitely didn't have like a W-2 from that time or a pay stub or anything like that. And I was hoping they would go off of the program alone, but they were like, no, we can't do that. So keep that in mind. I was like, shoot, what do we do? They said, if I could give them a um, employment verification letter from my employer, that would be great. So I reached out to him. He was really nice. He sent back an, a letter and they said, if you can have like official company letterhead on it, that's helpful. And so he put the company letterhead on, he signed it. And I was just really grateful that he took the time to do that. So I got that back and resent it to them on December 13th. Two days later, on December 15th, I got an official email with an application. The application was like pretty basic. They just asked for information about myself, personal information about who I am, my number, all that jazz. So that was on the 15th that I filled it out. As soon as I got it, I jumped right in. And then on December 20th, I got an email saying that my application had been received and processed and that I could make the required minimum payment to join, which at the moment, the required minimum payment is $600. And then over the course of three years, um, it's 1800 in total. And then you have your like dues on top of that. Um, 
there are more details that I'm still learning, but that's the general idea. So on December 20th, I called, you just like call and pay over the phone. They were really nice. They said I'd get more information soon. And then obviously there was a gap there with the holidays, but they told me that it would be a couple weeks anyway for most people. And so I, expected it to honestly take longer than it did but i got back from the holidays and on the second actually of january i had an email saying that i officially joined the union and they had me go log on to their site and get put my information in i got to see my equity card uh, i guess now you don't have to wait for it to come in the mail they just have your equity card um just i don't think i can share it because i don't think i don't know i don't think you're supposed to know my number i don't know the rules I, that process is uh, roughly a month rough just a little bit over a month for me but i immediately was like okay let's do this i joined the union saw that there was an ecc that very week on thursday and immediately i was able to put my information in and see the audition and sign up for it which i kind of worried it would like take longer but nope right away i can go to eccs and i've already signed up for four i think between the next two weeks which is great so this morning i went to that first ecc it was for gatsby it was so fun because for one i got to get a good night's rest the night before and i got to wake up at a reasonable hour get ready they say to be there like a half hour before uh your call starts so my call was at 10 a.m i got there at 9 30. oh the other thing when you sign up for the audition you can pick whether you want to go like say an auditions auditioning both in the morning and the afternoon you can pick which one you want to be there for so i was like great i teach in the afternoons so i signed up for the morning and I got there 30 minutes before I was number 198 and I listened and listened a lot of people didn't show up and I ended up being number 82 I walked up I showed him my card he gave me a, a number card for me to hold on to while I waited and then they called in the groups I was in group number three the audition started at 10 a.m I was seen I was out of there and done by 12 15 and I was in the third group a lot of times when I would go to these auditions as on union there was this feeling that may have been just like brought on by myself it may not be legitimate but I had this anxious feeling the whole time like this is an equity call and I'm on union I had to come here in the middle of the night just like never felt like this really uplifting positive experience for me I think for other people it really can be and people have had amazing opportunities through it um, but for me personally I was like this is just like not working for me in my emotional mental health and this call felt very different it was like oh they called my name I signed up for this like I can just enjoy myself the audition went great and then I got to leave and be home in time for all the things that I have to do today anywho I've joined the union. I'm excited for this journey. I'll keep you updated on how it goes, how I like it. Hopefully it can help you guys in your journey. Speaking of, a dancer came up to me today and told me that she watches my vlogs and reads my columns and that it's been helpful to her in her journey. She also has some health issues and watching me navigate this has been helpful to her. And I felt like emotional. I felt my heart swell because yeah, this is uh, my hope for this is that my experience and journey might also be helpful to one or two or more people out there so thank you for taking the time to watch and support and cheer me on and be here with me through it all I cannot tell you what it means to me and I can't wait to see what comes next so I'll see you all next month Mwah.